Hello my friends and welcome to All by Wally Design. For those who are new, my name is Olga and I'm a fashion designer and professional seamstress. On my channel, I share different free tutorials on adjustment, clothes or alteration. And also, if you like to follow my journey and see what else I create, you're welcome to subscribe to my channel and let me know what you think. I hear so many times when people compliment my work and also say, oh, your daughters are lucky because you probably sold them a lot of dresses. Well, have you ever heard the shoemaker without shoe? Well, that's me. I am so busy with work, with alteration business that sometimes I don't have time to make a lot of dresses, but I'm trying at least once a year. And guess what? Tomorrow is Halloween and I did not make, my dad have been asking for a long time to make cheetah custom. I do have the fabric and everything, so I have probably like four hours to finish this custom and make for her for tomorrow. So if you're gonna need ever um, to create a quick cheetah custom, then you can watch this tutorial and let me know what do you think. Thank you so much for watching and make sure to subscribe. So let's get started. So here what we're gonna need. I have some fabric left from some project that I did before. We're gonna need the headband which is the elastic just like for babies. And then I'm gonna need the pair of pants that my daughter wears so I can make a quick pattern and create her a small pants with a tail and ears. I'll see if I'm going to have time to make something extra. If not, I'm just going to keep it simple for her. And that's all what we're going to create today. Since our pins doesn't have a side seam, we're just going to fold one part of the fabric and then we're going to place our pins on top. With a chalk or removable pen, we're going to mark exactly the seam of the pins. And because the back seam is different than the front seam, I will mark first the longest seam. So that's going to be the back seam. When I starting to cut the seat, make sure you're cutting only one layer. This is the back length because it's different curve and different length. And I will cut it just a little bit just to see the length. Next, I'm going to open and then I will place the front seam and I will match it with the front inseam. Next, we're gonna cut the second part of the pants and make sure you put wrong side on a wrong side and then we're gonna cut all around. I always double check one more time the curve of the seat. You always can adjust it just in case but because my daughter went to sleep so I have to finish while she's sleeping before tomorrow. After all is ready, I'm gonna cut the small ears for our headband. 
you can fold the fabric you need four layers so i'm gonna put one on top of each other and then i'm gonna draw the ear and cut all around For sewing I'm gonna use my serger which is 4 thread and I don't have to use the sew machine. If you don't have it then use the sew machine and then serge all the edges. After we sew the inseam on each leg now we have to attach all the way to the seat seam. So I'm gonna match the seam and sew it together. We can search together with elastic but I want it to be adjustable just in case so I will search the edge and then I will do the top stitch where I'm gonna insert the separate elastic in for the waist. Now I will fold three quarter from the edge and I'm gonna sew one quarter from the edge where we search the fabric. Make sure to also leave a small space because we're gonna insert the elastic through. Now I will use the elastic which is almost half inch wide and I'll use the safety pin. With safety pin I'm gonna go through that little spot and go around and insert elastic. And then we're gonna just sew together elastic to make sure it's um, reinforced very well and all set. Our pins is almost done, we just need to hem them and good to go. For hemming the pins I'm gonna use my cover stitch sew machine which it comes for like free thread and two needle. If you don't have a special machine don't worry you can just search the edge and then do the top stitch. I am gonna sew the ears as well so all we need to do is to sew one quarter from the edge. Our pants is ready and all we need to do is just to sew a small tail and to finish our ears. So I cut just a small piece of the tail, you also can measure it how long you want it and all what I'm gonna do is to fold it all the allowance inside and hand stitch it. I'm gonna use my pins to pin it all together and then at the end I'm gonna hand stitch it all the way through. After our tail is ready, we will sew in the back part of the pants. Our 
pins is ready, now we only have to finish the small ears and all set. Make sure to find right where is the middle and kind of like visualize where you need to them to be sewn. I feel like the ears is a little too long so I'm gonna cut a quarter from it and then I'm gonna fold it, make a small folded uh, line and then sew them on the headband. cheetah ears are ready and now we all set i hope you love this tutorial and thank you so much for watching my daughter was very happy in the morning when she put on the custom and also the pants don't forget to subscribe for more